What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the lights that are over my 75 gallon reef tank. I've had quite a few questions lately on what it is that I'm exactly running and which bulbs I'm using and when they turn on and they turn off. So that's pretty much what this is going to go over. Just the lighting over my tank. So let's take a look. So as you guys can see here, I have reef brights and T5s. Currently, this is my setup. Now, you may or may not know, but I uh, was just recently over at Ecotech doing a tour over there, and I have learned quite a bit from being there that day. So, yeah, these T5s might not be here much longer. We shall see. Stay tuned. So, let's get on with what I'm using and the time schedule and the actual bulbs. So, I do have four T5 bulbs and two Reef Bright Techs. These aren't the XHOs, these are the Techs. They don't make the Techs anymore, they only make the XHOs and the Luma Lights and the Luma Light Pros. And I really like the Techs. It's just less LEDs per foot. So at 11.45 AM, the Tech 148 one inch Actinic Blue Tech turns on. I do have two, there is one in the back, you guys can kind of see the reflection right there. Um, I used to run both of them, but I don't really feel the need. I have to check the PAR and see what it is and go from there. But at the moment, I'm just running the one tech that comes on at 11.45 a.m. Then at noon, two ATI Blue Plus bulbs turn on. So then from noon and then at 3 o'clock, I have two more bulbs that turn on, and those are the ATI actinic bulbs. So the ATI actinics, they turn on from 3 p.m. and they shut off at 8 p.m. Then it's back to just the tech and the two Blue Plus bulbs. Then at 10 p.m., the Blue Plus turns off, and from 10 to 10.15, it's just the Reef Bright tech. So that's it, that's, that's what I'm currently running. It's a simple setup. Uh, I've always liked T5s because I'm not really a techie and I don't really have great knowledge with tuning things and you know I've always been unsure of LEDs and T5s were just the easier way for me to go because they turn on and they turn off. There's no you know turning up the whites, turning up the blues. It, you know T5s are, it is what it is. Same with the Reef Brights. You can get a dimmer switch for the Reef Brights, but I don't use that. And um, I've been pretty happy with the outcome of how everything is turning out. Everything's growing. It's not growing fast because it's not getting a lot of light, but everything definitely has uh, good color and good health. And that's all I really look for uh, with this hobby is, you know, I'm just trying to keep everything colorful and keep it alive. And I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any, uh, you know, major losses. I'm not running any high-tech, you know, I guess you could say like high care level um, coral. It's all nice and simple stuff that's pretty relatively easy to keep alive. So that's it. So for those that were wondering what my lights are and the schedule, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.